Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. If you're new here, I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. We have an interesting one this week. I have a huge tub here full of jewellery that belonged to a lovely customer of mine and her grandmother who sadly passed away a couple of years ago. Now, she came to me, she's local, and she asked me if I could upcycle some of her grand's jewellery that was beaded and charms and things into pieces that she could share with other female members of her family and also some of the nurses that cared for her nan before she passed away. It was a really lovely project. I spent the summer doing it, making various pieces and everybody was really pleased with what I had done. After the project was finished, she said that I could keep the box. There's some things in here that are hers as well as her grandmother's and use them for upcycling or sell them on or, or do what I wanted to do with them. And I've kind of left them alone for quite a while because it was an emotional thing and there was obviously some attachment to them. So I thought with your moral support, we could look through it together and see what's here. I know there's some treasures in here. For example, there's some gold earrings that she kindly gifted me. There's some beaded things. There's some beautiful vintage rings and clip-ons. So let's dive straight in. Before we do, I'll just remind you that if you like the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't already and hit the bell so that you can see my future videos. Okay. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to move the big box, I think, down out of the way and pull the smaller trays out first. So these are clip-on earrings and rings. Let's see what we've got. Wow, look at this early plastic. Huge clip-on earring. It looks like there is only one of these, so perhaps that could be made into a pendant or something. There's a pair of beaded purple spiky ones. Aren't they awesome? This lady was obviously very cool and very stylish in her day. And I love that she kept all of these pieces in her jewellery box. Um, her vintage things as well as some more modern pieces. There was some modern costume jewellery in there as well. So at some point she obviously had her ears pierced and there are some pierced ones in there as well. They look like they're probably 80s ones. And there's a red pair there, a pair to go with every outfit. Those are clip-ons, a bit like Smarties. You can see that they're an older plastic. It just feels different to modern plastic. These are unusual clip-ons. They're plastic on the back as well. They're um, right in place for the Barbie corn movement. There's the other one. Love those. Well, I used to have these when I was younger, when I first had my ears pierced. So it's an all plastic stud. Even the post is plastic. That one. These are fabulous. This is a lovely costume ring, adjustable, with a little glass rhinestone. There's a modernist looking one here. I think that's glass in there, adjustable again. The top, interestingly, looks like silver, but the band doesn't. I don't think it is. I think it's just a costume band. It's really cool. Oh, this one's got a similar stone in it. I wonder if they were a set. That's a different metal on the top of that one, interestingly. Oh, this is beautiful. Hand enamel. This is probably a 70s one. It's got that lovely handmade look about it and it's on, I'm not sure what the band is on that, but really cool vintage ring. Oh, and here's another one that's probably in the set with the others. And some seed beads set in a type of resin. I'd love to have seen this lady all dressed up with her fabulous jewels on. 
costume cocktail ring. It's a faux pearl that lost has lost a bit of its coating there, but it's still fabulous. Oh, there's a lovely bit of agate there. Having a little bit of trouble focusing today for some reason. Oh, this one's interesting. It's got dichroic glass inside it. Love how that catches the light. So cool. Oh, look in this one. There's a micro mosaic one or a mini mosaic. Don't shout at me. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. <laughs> one's obviously more. One's obviously more micro than the other. That's lovely. More clip-ons. That one sadly lost a crystal. Oh, look at these lovely daisies. Gorgeous. There's a Toledo Damascene one. Spanish. No maker on it. Gorgeous though. I could see that as a pendant. That would be a really nice pendant. There's its friend. So I'd have to wear an asymmetric pair. There doesn't seem to be another one of these in there. And that one's gone past it, sadly. It's all corroded. That's its friend. Or oh, classic 80s statement studs. Look at those. Fabulous. And beautiful green glass ones. No maker on them, but really pretty. Oh, that's the other one of those stone ones. Oh, look, we've got ourselves some dragon's breath. Don't think I've ever found dragon's breath before. Oh, they're gorgeous. Super pretty. Wonder what I'll do with those. I'd quite like to make them into pierced earrings. Shall I have a think about those? Some dainty little smarty ones. Oh, and another one of those. Perhaps we'll find a fourth one. Maybe they were a mix and match. Or perhaps they lost one and had to buy another pair. What's the other one? Those sparklers. Oh, and the other round one of those. These look like Sphinx ones. Let's see if they are or not. Yes, there's a number on the back there. Those are lovely. Somebody will snap those up. And there's a few more faux pearls. That one is sadly broken. But it could be strung onto something. And then we've got more of these plastic shapes. They're so fun. They must be 80s ones. Butterfly there. Really fun. Love those. Okay, in the next tray, this was something that I cut up. I think it was a necklace and I made into some earrings um, for the customer. So I need to do some more of those to make use of those beads. And then this was a really fun bracelet that had a little crystal on every bobble and I've taken loads of them off. We made loads of earrings with this and I put some into the shops as well. So I need to make some more of those. And this was obviously another necklace that I cut up and again used the beads from. And another one here. Funnily enough, I shared a short this week of some hearts made of these lovely window glass beads. Those are my beautiful earrings. Oh, who remembers these poppet beads that pop together? I find these occasionally in unboxings 
just now and again and uh I'll just get it to focus and I've been putting them together in a little pot so maybe one day I'll be able to make a whole necklace out of them that'll be really fun so I'll put those to one side oh look at those ones they're unusual different to the usual shapes I suppose they might be too brittle to actually pop um hopefully not though let's get all of those out these are fun little glass ones and so lovely quality glass beads those will probably just go onto new hooks now I did put there were quite a few things that I just put straight onto new hooks for the customer there's some black ones here and this was a necklace that Again, I think I made into some earrings. Now, I think the rest of the earrings in here are gold tone ones rather than actual gold. What does that say? Hong Kong. A silver horseshoe in there. A sweet little stud. Oh, that's um, the same striped agate that was in those clip ons. Teeny little silver stud. But I think there's only one of them, unless there's another one in another tray. Now, this tray, again, I think is gold tone. I did go through all of these with a magnet so that I could tell her which ones were the gold ones because there were quite a few. And she very kindly gave me a little gold cat charm, which is gorgeous. And then, these are the ones that we either know or strongly suspect are nine karat gold. And they're the ones that were around in the 90s that were pressed metal. I get these in from time to time. They've often got this little fleur de lis on the front of the stud. There we go, we're focusing a little bit better now, we're in closer. There's a lovely cameo one, which I thought would make a really cute little pendant, a tiny, tiny little pendant. There's all sorts in here. There are lots of dolphins and little horseshoes. These sparklers, which I think I tested for diamond and weren't. I think those are cubic zirconias. There's a teddy. And there's a few little bits and pieces in here. Hoops and studs and a little silver drop and butterflies as well and the other teddy yes yeah, so that's um, nine karat gold and i mentioned to her that it was unusual that there were no backs with them and then the next time i saw her she gave me this bag which i don't think i've even looked at it yet so these backs in here I can see are all just costume ones, they're not precious metal, so I'm going to tip those back into the bag. And there's a few more studs in this box. That star is silver. I think that's a silver back. So there are a few little bits of silver in there, but I don't think those gold backs are gold. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, good old Elizabeth Duke. Who remembers Elizabeth Duke from Argos? They probably still sell. That ranger, I guess. 
that one looks like a gold back yes yeah, so we've got a few gold backs in there and a few silver ones as well so i need to clean those all up and marry them back up together that's exciting right on to the next tub this is a really pretty example of a toledo damascene bracelet sadly missing a stone in there that's shell i don't think i've ever seen one inlaid with shell it's a traditional spanish style this black and gold and that's just a bit of faux pearl on there. This is a tourist piece that's got um, Mallorca on the clasp there, but it won't close. I think it's broken. It actually looks too big for the slot. I can't quite work that out. So I need to have a think about what to do with that one. I could possibly cut it up and make the pieces into separate ones that i think just had old hooks in it yes i think these are a pair of earrings that she wanted to keep and i just put them onto new hooks this is a, just a fashion bangle it's a stella and dot style one but it's not stella and dot but really pretty nonetheless nice white metal bangle Oh, look at these. I've missed the Barbie core trend now, haven't I? They would have been perfect for going to see Barbie at the cinema. Love those. And then we've got some vintage glass and some wooden beads. more and more of these i think those will be cut up to go into my kits or my workshops wow there's loads of them loads of those oh this is like the one that i cut up which i showed you earlier she must have had two of them interesting things for breaking apart some interesting beads and another bangle it's like another 80s plastic one another stretchy there and another stretchy wood or coconut ring this is a really cute little green chain I'll pop something on there for a kiddies necklace probably that one earring, yeah, butterfly charm earring. There's the other one. Oh, that's pretty. That feels really nice in the hand. I wonder if there's another one of those. There's a bit of another one of those, so that must have broken unless they were asymmetrical. I think I will probably have them as an asymmetrical pair or maybe I can take, perhaps I'll take some length off of that one and make them the same length. That would be fairly easy to do. Cat's eye pendant. Some lovely handmade glass beads on this one. slash naughty style cross that's missing a little crystal from there let's fish out these earrings i think there are an awful lot of single earrings in this collection so they're all fun but they're all single so those will be made into charms or pendants
some big heart necklace on a chain, pendant on a chain rather, and there's a bracelet to match that necklace. And some 80s faux pearls. So on to the big tub. We've got some intriguing looking boxes in here as well. Some nice amethyst. And a beaded wire wrapped flower. Ah, these are more poppets. A whole bracelet of poppets. That's the first time I've had a whole bracelet or a whole piece in. And there's some more here too. You can still get these. My daughters have got a box of them in bright colours, but fab to have some original ones. These are howlite stones, I think, that have been dyed, and this is plastic fantastic. That'll be upcycled. And then there are lots of vintage strings of beads, which these are the ones that are fused onto the cord, so I can't reuse those sadly. Um, so those will probably get listed at some point. So they're all kind of earthy tones, really browns and corals and tans. So they probably make a really good bunch. I suspect she probably wore them together. I need to go quick now because my battery is running out. Let's see what's in this box. Stretchy bracelet. And a silver plated necklace. It's quite fun. beautiful little bird brooch intact no maker it's a it's a base metal one rather than a silver one but it's got the look and a vintage brooch that's probably an 80s one one huge pendant earring More stretchies, they'll all be upcycled. Oh, I like these vintage plastic beads. Modern sparkly one. Spans a lot of years, this collection. Some charmy ones, those will be taken off when I use them for something else. Costume bib one. It's a pretty bit of agate, I think. On a costume chain. What does it say there? It says 18 karat gold plated. But it's a... You know, it's not like an expensive piece. It'll have a thin, thin coating of plating. Costume bangle. Those beads feel nice. They've got a sort of oily colour to them and a nice cut. Costume hoops. I think those are plastic, yeah, they're plastic beads to look like gemstone. And some wood. Big stretchy. And then I think the rest is various costume pieces. Some mermaid hematite. That's a pretty bit of shell on there. Take that off because the surround is kind of funny. Wow. So what did you think of Gran's box of jewellery? There was quite a lot of treasure in here, wasn't there? We had some nine carat gold, some gorgeous vintage earrings and rings, loads of beads to work with. So I'm very grateful to my customer for passing on to me what she didn't want from this. And I really, really enjoyed the upcycling project so, so much. It was lovely. Stay tuned to see what I make with these. Keep an eye on my shorts. Do watch some other videos. Check out the channel and subscribe if you don't already. Don't forget to hit the like if you haven't done already as well. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.